Good morning. Thank you for joining me, Pastor Zach Williams of Flat Creek Baptist Church here in Gainesville, Georgia, for another edition of New Horizons, the daily podcast and radio ministry of Flat Creek Baptist Church. It is always my greatest joy to be able to dive deep into God's Word with you, and I pray that these daily devotionals are a blessing to you and your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, you might be wanting some information about Flat Creek Baptist and how you can come alongside of us in your walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, you can go to our website website, flatcreekchurch.net, and you can find all the information you need to know about us there. Uh, friends, I pray that these devotionals through the book of Acts have been a great blessing to you. It's certainly been a great blessing for me to be able to walk through this book of the Bible with you. It's truly one of my favorite books uh, of all scripture as we see the Acts of the Apostles. And it's a reminder to all of us that we should always live uh, just uh, with, with a zeal and a fervor and a passion for the Lord Jesus Christ, always on mission. And one thing we find throughout this book is 28 chapters long and it's just full of narratives and stories and personal testimonies of what individuals did for the Lord Jesus Christ. And I just wonder today, uh, you know, what are you doing for the Lord Jesus Christ? If somebody came today and said, tell me what you did lately for Jesus, would you have a story to tell? I remember years ago, being a student at Fruitland Baptist Bible College. And uh, I had a good friend of mine, John David Wilson, and he and I were often asked to go and preach at different locations together. And JD and I, we both have a similar background and the background that we have is a background in drugs and alcohol. And so we would often be asked to come and speak at different drug rehabilitation programs and those sorts of things. And so JD and I would get in the car and we would drive for hours to get to these different locations. And uh, one of the things that I always remember during that time is that we were both very young in our faith. And so when JD and I would get in the car together and we would start to drive, oftentimes he and I would begin to tell stories about our past, uh, the things that we did before coming to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we would start to share these, uh, these just really just, you know, uh, sinful stories and, and we would laugh about them and we would cut up about them. And oftentimes it seemed as if me and JD were always trying to one up each other, you know, just one story compound to another story, another story, almost like reveling in our past sinfulness, you know, who was the greater sinner of the two. And I can remember this one night in particular that J.D. and I, we drove three hours to get to this certain spot where we were supposed to speak. And so uh, the whole time on the way, we did this. We just shared what we called war stories. We just talked about our past and, and, and all these different things. And then we got there, we preached, we got back into the car. And, and I'll never forget as we were driving back down the road, you know, we started to talk about how we were just telling these stories of our past and, and we made a rule. And here was the rule that we made. For every war story of the past we tell, we've got to be able to tell a story about what we've done for Jesus. And so JD and I, we started to live by that rule that every time we tell a war story, we had to tell a story about something we did lately for Jesus. And do you know what happened? Pretty soon, we left those old war stories of, of, that, of that sinful life, we left them behind. And JD and I, we started telling war stories to each other about Jesus. And, and what once was a, a car ride that was just kind of just a reminder of past sinfulness suddenly became these glorious car rides of worship. And do you know that JD and I today, we still have these times together on the telephone. Man, what are you doing for Jesus, brother? And we share these stories about what's going on in our lives and how we're making an impact for the kingdom of God. That's what the book of Acts is. The book of Acts are a list of stories that just that, that, that share the narratives of the gospel, what people did 
for Jesus? What are you doing for Jesus? That's a great question. When we come today to Acts chapter number 12, we're coming to a story uh, that's, that's really amazing. And, and, and we're going to really get into it tomorrow uh, because we've spent a lot of time talking about, uh, about you know, uh, having a testimony for the Lord Jesus Christ and, and, and telling stories about what you've done for him and are you actually serving him. Uh, but when we come to this story today, I just want to kind of set up where we're going to go tomorrow uh, with this story because what we, what we find here is a story of Peter being rescued from prison by the hand of God and answered prayer. Now you want to talk about a story. This is a story. And, and this is a story of what God can do when his people pray. And so I'm asking you right now, when was the last time that you really just prayed for something? I mean, you really just got down on your face and you just cried out to God and just said, Lord, can you please answer this prayer? If you want to talk about war stories for Jesus, I'm always reminded of a time in my life where as a young pastor, uh, I just really challenged the church to 21 days of prayer. And I can remember during that time being told of an individual that lived in the city that I pastored. And, and everybody told me he's the meanest man in town. I mean, this guy is a fighter. He's a brawler. You know, he's a, he curses. He drinks. You, you don't want to mess with that guy. But when I began to pray for those 21 days, I began to intentionally pray for this man and just really ask God to stir his heart. And I'll never forget as that time kind of pressed on how, how God began to enable me during that 21 days to, to meet him and to be able to start a conversation with him, to be able to start a relationship with him. And I'll never forget as I come to the end of that 21 days of prayer that I was in my office one afternoon and I was reading the story of Elijah and the widow's son. The widow's son, of course, dies and Elijah goes and prays over the boy three times. And after he prays over the boy, the boy rises up from the dead. And I just remember being in my office so vividly that day and God speaking into my life and just saying, when was the last time that you prayed three times over a dead man? And I had that guy's name on a prayer uh, card there. And I thought, you know, here's a man who is spiritually dead. It was a Friday afternoon. So I took that note card, put it down on the floor, and three times stretched out over that man's name and prayed three times intentionally for a dead man to be raised to life in Christ Jesus spiritually. And wouldn't you know, the next day, Saturday, this man called me on the telephone and said, Pastor, I need to talk to you. I went up to where he worked there at his own maintenance shop. And there in the back of that place, this man that everybody said was so mean and so hateful, this man cried out to God, gave his life to the Lord Jesus Christ, and serves him today. Friends, that's a, that's a, that's a, a war story that's, that's worth telling. That, that's an answer to prayer that's worth talking about. And we'll see it tomorrow in the text in Acts chapter number 12, how the people of God were praying for Peter's release and how God answered the prayer in a mighty way. And I want to encourage you today, whatever it is that, that, that's going on in your life, a lost loved one, a disease, a, 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 a strained marriage, you know, a lost child, whatever it is, I want to encourage you to pray to the God of heaven that he might answer the prayer and then you will have a story to tell that will bring him all the glory, praise, and honor. And that's what it's all about. It's about bringing him glory on this earth. So may you pray today and ask God to move in a mighty way. Friends, listen, I love you. I appreciate you. I look forward to seeing you next time on New Horizons. God bless.